Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. Let's see what messages want to come out for you. What do we have for the collective? Signs and synchronicities. Reconciliation. Between the lines. Hmm. Unexpected romantic feelings. All right, so... Someone may reach out to you unexpectedly. We have between the lines. You have unexpected reconciliation between the lines, signs, and synchronicities. We'll see what this is about. What do we have for the collective? What are the messages? Okay, <laughs> incoming communication, good karma. So yeah, someone's definitely reaching out to you unexpectedly. Maybe you're surprised as to who it even is. We got good karma. Best friends always together, always on their minds, separation, anxiety. You got seduction too. You got working together, okay. So, someone's coming forward. Someone who feels like they don't want to be without you. So, let's see. What are the messages for the collective? What are the messages? a lot going on here two of pentacles i'm seeing that somebody wants to end some kind of conflicts with you but with the tower it could be that they waited too long maybe in your opinion they waited too long we got the ten of swords and the four of cups in reverse there is an energy of you being very busy, very active in your life, doing things you want to do. But someone feeling like they're missing out on those experiences with you. Why the hangs, man? Hmm. Someone's realizing they were like not such a great partner. That they could have had this Ten of Pentacles with you. They still feel possessive of you. They could be an Aries, could be a Libra. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? Could be an Aquarius. What is going on here? Okay, someone feels like... It's kind of triggering them, I guess. This person, someone really feels like they're not getting to be with you or experience what you're experiencing. You know, be able to enjoy life with you. Why this the Five of Swords in reverse? Three of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Someone really does not like not being in communication. They feel like they're being left behind. They could show up in a strange way. I don't know if you block them and they're gonna find a way to show up, but why the tower? They may be jealous about something. King of Wands. Some of you could be speaking to someone else. You could have taken a picture with someone else. Maybe they're just a friend. Something about this King of Wands has this person jealous. So male or female, there's a person that either they've heard about or seen you with. It's kind of making them feel like they waited too long to make this move to reach out. Why the justice in reverse? Page of Wands. 
six of wands in reverse. They feel like they must feel like they weren't good enough to be a part of your life. Two of Swords. They're trying they're trying not to see that they have feelings for you still. There's some type of denial going on. Why the Queen of Pentacles? The devil. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. But Libra as well. King of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups. This person is obsessed, <clears throat> especially when it comes to you. Not just your looks and stuff like that, but the way you are, the way you it could be your confidence, go get an energy. Something has them really obsessed with you. You're like, what's the word? It's like when they watch you or they see, I don't know if you make videos or you make or you just post like really good things or they see you in person and you maybe you're you have a good fashion sense or something about something that you do that is quite fiery or exciting or attractive that they can't get enough of yeah why the ten of swords temperance Three of Swords and Four of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a Sagittarius for some of you. There's a lot of heartbreak here with the Temperance. I don't know if you're going to break this person's heart when they reach out to you, but th there is some kind of serious sadness this person is going to go through. I don't know if it's because you're letting them go or maybe you friend zone them with the best friend's card. But there's a heartbreak. Could be that they're already heartbroken. But why the Four of Cups in reverse? Six of... No, Seven of Cups. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. This person... They fantasize about this and they're realizing that nothing's going to happen if they don't take action. And I'm being drawn to seduction. So again, it's like there's something about you that you do that keeps them obsessed. Hearing that song is... What's her name? It's the things you do keep me running back to you and Missy Elliott is in the song. I think it's called The Things You Do. No, makes me keep running to you. Something that you do that this person sees, even if they're not supposed to see it because maybe they're blocked, they see it. And they're fantasizing about something. They're fantasizing about not being single anymore, being with you, taking action, but they're realizing that they need to take that action or else it's just not gonna happen. But they're either heartbroken right now or they're going to be, maybe some of you plan to reject them. But let me look at the main spread. the messages for the collective what are the messages
two pages what is going on here so you could have kids together we do have the working together card which is co-parenting basically so those of you who have kids with this person they are focusing on you could be a Leo for some of you. King of Pentacles, overall energy. We also have the Queen of Wands again. Someone's wanting to be more active when it comes to you, like taking more action, doing more with the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. What is going on with this though? You're being seen as you're being seen as the strength in reverse. Hold on. Why strength in reverse? Wait. Night, night underneath eight of wands this makes no sense tell me more about the strength in reverse why are they seeing you this way fall in reverse um, hangman Wait a minute, why the Page of Cups? Something's not right over there. So I see, oh wow, for some of you, you could be dealing with a new person as well, or you're soon to be, hold on, why the Page of Pentacles? What is going on here? Okay, the devil, obsession, page of pentacles, and the ten of swords in reverse. And the five of pentacles in reverse. Something's going on here. This is either a new person of yours or a different person. Or well, this person is like, I don't know if they're getting ready to play some type of game. But there's something about these pages. And with the devil, it's looking toxic or addictive. Hold on a second. Why the Queen of Wands? Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. So they wanted to take a more active role because they felt rejected and heartbroken by you. But what's with all this negative stuff up here? I feel like it's gonna come together soon, but it's just not making sense at the moment. Why the Ten of Swords? Three of Pentacles. The Hermit in Reverse. The Emperor. Someone's telling this person something. Someone is in their ear that's, and they're, they're putting fear in this person's mind that they could get hurt by you if they go back to you. Someone could be trying to convince this person to come in with a strategy. And then we got the emperor here. You might be this emperor whether you're male or female. Why is read between the lines here? I 
I want I want to say this. Okay, some of you, this person's weak for you, right? And if they come in and try to flip the script or try to like play games with you, I would like really read between the lines because they're very much stuck on you. They can't move on. There's obsession here. They, for some of you, if this person tries to tell you that you guys are just friends, they're playing a game. Don't fall for it. Don't be offended by it. Don't take them seriously. This person is obsessed with you. But for some of you, I'm getting that they're planning to try and come in and flip the script in some way. Like make it seem like, you know, you're not that important to them. You know, I mean, it's like something shady is going on up here. And there's an influence from someone. Someone may have told, either they were watching videos on maybe how to make you fall in love with them or something. Or somebody's telling them that you could hurt them and that they should do this, this and that. To avoid that from, to stop that from happening. What is going on here? This is like shady. We've got the four pen four pentacles, four ones. And then what's blocking is the nine of one. So this person's in survival mode, or they just have these fears planted in them, possibly from other people. Because this is why it's happening with the, the nine of ones. Like they're scared of getting hurt. They want you. But they're scared that you have too much power in the situation. So either they're getting advice on how to balance this out or something. Why are the nine of wands? Page of cups again. Something about um, four of cups. Just be aware of any games they may try to play. You got the queen of wands here. So really protect yourself. Read between the lines. Keep your guard up at first. If you're, especially if you're dealing with someone new, if you guys are like dealing with each other now and they're new, careful of someone who plays games and tries to like be the powerful one in the situation because someone's trying to see you as this strength in reverse. So I don't know if for some of you, this could be a new person and you've kind of, kind of have them under the impression that that they can just do whatever they want. Maybe you're being extra nice to them. So they're thinking to take advantage of your niceness. Just be careful with people. There's you need to have boundaries here. Because someone either thinks they can play games with you or is playing games. Why the five of ones in reverse? Ten of one, ten of ones. In reverse, five of swords. Oh my gosh, you see? Someone's next move is reconciliation. We have the reconciliation card, five of wands. They want to make peace and the conflict. But they also want like... They feel like you have too much power over them. They feel weak towards you. So I don't know if they've told friends about this, how they feel, and their friends have told them that, you know, they're too sprung or something. Why the Six of Swords? Some of you are needing to know that you have another person coming in, a very, like a more mature person. They could be more prosperous too. King of Pentacles. So it's letting you know that in the position of what you need to know, not only do you need to read between the lines with someone if you suspect that they're playing games, but you also have better options out there if you want anyways, and you could easily move on and not turn back and look at this past person who possibly has come up with this strategy to, you know, play games with you. Because usually the... the 
for you, for the collective, the Seven of Swords is in reverse. Now it's upright. So what's going on here? Reverse was about not playing games. Now it's upright and I am seeing someone who's maybe, maybe it's not them. Maybe somebody told them this. They're taking someone's silly advice on how to get you to, you know, surrender to them. Why the Seven of Swords? Again, with the Nine of Wands, this person's in survival mode. They're going to do things that people in survival mode do, which is play games. Nine of Wands, again, Nine of Wands is what's blocking. And some of you are not even going to put up with it. You got the Four of Cups. You're probably going to leave them out in the cold again. So it's probably just going to, they're just going to end up sabotaging themselves again. Their goal is this Four of Wands with the Seven of Swords, but they're going about it the wrong way. Maybe it's just that they've listened to someone's advice and they're just kind of desperate and wanting to do whatever it takes. So they just took the advice and just decided to do it. But I see them wanting to play games. Wanting to like, there's like a power dynamic, wanting to get some of the power in the situation. The overall energy is the King of Pentacles. You got the King of Pentacles here twice. The King of Pentacles could represent you. It could represent a better partner for you. What are the messages for the collective? Finality, farewell, leaving behind closure. Some of you could end up being done with them because of this. But only you, devoted, attached, crave. That's the truth about them, but they just don't know how to act. Curse, witchcraft, hex, negative mind. Wow. We got open heart, receptive, empathy, vulnerable. What's this witchcraft energy about? Are they gonna are they about to voodoo you? Like what's the witchcraft? Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups in Reverse. They could just be thinking very negatively. I don't get it being actual witchcraft. I do feel like they feel left out and they're in their feelings. So they could be sending like negative energy from, you know, just having that, those feelings. What are the messages for the collective? The offer, will you accept? The waiting game, timing is off. Secret admirer, shyness, emotional repression. <laughs> Voodoo priestess, higher learning. Okay. Chaos and destruction. Wine and dine, dating. All right, what is this voodoo stuff? Because it looks like someone's dealing with the moon here as well. What's the witchcraft and the voodoo? Who is that? Who is doing it? Moon in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles in the moon. It looks like some of you may have freed yourself from somebody's spell that they tried to put on you. Because I'm seeing more of a freedom from a 
from witchcraft or you being protected tell me more what's with the chaos and destruction and the, the voodoo yeah someone it could be for somebody that someone thought they were eating with um trying to uh put witchcraft on you they see you moving forward not affected that it didn't work and they're confused they're seeing that you're someone's seen that you're protected so this could be some random person maybe an ex-friend or so who is realizing that their magic did not work what were they trying to cause You to be off balance, confused. They wanted you to have a negative mind. Well, let's see what's going on. What's going on with the collective? What are the messages? I know you are the one for me. Soulmates, best friends, happy endings. We have best friends twice. So there could be this person who feels like you're the one for them but again they're going about it the wrong way we have i want to talk to you phone call heart to heart conversation movement i'm watching you every day from a fake profile collecting information reminiscing the past and jealousy okay it got noisy so we've got would you pick up if i called you now late night call express love sex ding Let's see what else. You got three cards talking about a phone call, so they could call you very soon. What are the messages for the collective? Union, serious relationship, marriage, partnership, control, releasing, taking back power. Destiny, luck, chance, meant to be home, property, real estate, residence. Let's see. Date and queen. Opportunities, dates, abundance, money, wealth, luck, finances. I feel like you tend to just get on with life. Some of you got better finances coming in. And romantic interests. But again, with this power thing, this person wants to... They feel like, if, they feel like you have all the power in the situation. What are the messages for the collective? Oh my God, four cards about a phone call. Call me now. Heartbreak, U-turn. The key to my heart. Love triangle, walk away, give them space, escape, thinking of you, new connection, pillow talk, there's a lot going on. Some of you, this love triangle is actually you because you got a new connection, you got a new person possibly coming in, a shy secret admirer. They could be someone that you find to be quite like they make you happy, this new person, in some way. What are the messages for the collective? Joy and stability. Give it time. Reunited. They adore you. Release the past. It could be saying release the past um, issues, but there's definitely someone you want to reunite with or they want to reunite with you. It could be mutual. They definitely adore you, but they need to stop listening to bad advice because you have some other option here and they could just be making it worse for themselves. 
is what I'm seeing. So let me see what else we got. Messages for the collective. Divine timing, be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. Hmm. Express your love. It's important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. Pay attention to the signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not a coincidence. You have this twice. Signs and synchronicities. So yeah. You've been seeing some meaningful signs here. Be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. And we've got this card. Receptive, empathy, vulnerable, open heart. So some of you... While this person may have their ways, there could be something that you're doing, like closing yourself off, um, <laughs> expecting the worst from this person. I see, I see good in them, but I feel like they're listening to the wrong people, wrong advice. Maybe they're listening to podcasts or, some, or something like that. There's some kind of bad advice this person is deciding to take. And it's not going to go well for them. <laughs> it's not going to work out. But that doesn't make them like a bad person. I feel like they're just trying to find any way possible to get back in. Even if it means being immature. Because they're obsessed here. They're still very much attached. Especially with the only you card. Devoted, attached, crave. It's like they're not getting the point. Maybe there's something specific you want them to do. But they keep ignoring that and trying to do something else. And they just don't get it. What's the waiting game here for? Yeah, they're waiting to come out the cold. Yep. <laughs> they're waiting to get back with you. Come out the cold and be in a relationship with you. But they're taking the wrong advice. Some of you are even currently entertaining a new love or soon to be. Who's a secret admirer? of cups if the secret admirer is not this person if it's someone else this is someone who's like sees a future with you already could be someone you meet me at a celebration or a party or they have seen you at some events and it's like they just envision the future with you they could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius <laughs> air sign energy again knight of swords but Someone's imagined a future with you, the secret admirer. Ten of Cups, but this other person who's waiting to get back with you, they, they have you as the Two of Cups. So what's it going to be? Hmm. I feel like it's all going to be up to you. I feel like you should watch out for this person's games and kind of, I don't know, maybe understand that they're just desperate <laughs> and they're kind of in survival mode and they need to stop being so scared and stop feeling so powerless in the situation and stop playing games. Because some of you have this, the, this secret Myra could actually be this King of Pentacles Male or female, they could be very stable because they are envisioning. <laughs> they are envisioning a future with you, which means this is someone who thinks about the future. They think about building and they're they think about being stable, which means they're a good option. Which means this other person has competition. So yeah. But about the witchcraft thing, I think someone tried to do something and it didn't work. Your protection is on point. And yeah. So this is what I'm seeing. We got Taurus energy, Virgo, Capricorn. Um...
Pisces, Libra, Leo, and yeah, I think those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.